So today we are taking a look at Daddy Fish's account. We're just going to go over the whole account, but of course, we're looking for mostly the World 4 skills, including breeding, cooking, and lab. So let's take a quick look. He's currently with a 351 Siege Breaker, 199 Bubonic Conjurer, a 164 Blood Berserker, a 224 Divine Knight, an Elemental Sorcerer, a Beastmaster, a B-Man, another Elemental Sorcerer, Divine Knight, and Siege Breaker. Personally, his build is totally fine. You could do the double Siege Breaker build. It would be nice to have another Blood Berserker, but he's doing perfect with the Divine Knight. And let's take a look to see how he's doing with stuff like Post Office. And let's start off with just the first one here. Going over everything that we need to see. Bags seem all right. Not too bad. The Obels, on the other hand, are seeming a little bit rough. Okay, so first thing off the get-go, this will help greatly with start building what you need to do. You can even go something as in main stat ovals for your ovals. Either go main stat, or even you could just go drop rate that you can get from Giga Frogs. But if you guys didn't know, if you guys want a little tip, if you're struggling with accuracy, what a smart thing to do is instead doing substat for your ovals. So say if you're a warrior, you want to go wisdom. This will give you extra accuracy to help push through the worlds, so you will stop missing over time. But I mean, overall, it looks like you got a couple of Ephon stuff. It's not, it's not too bad. Seems that you're pushing these things, but yeah, definitely Obels is the first thing you're going to want to start farming. Let's take a look at cards here. How's he looking? Ooh, okay. So he's got a five-star Sugma. He's got some Clammy, some Detonated Rams. Now he's currently in World 5, and he does have Dute, and he's missing some, some serious cards. So I would think if you're if you really want to start pushing more in World Five, start your card farm. Now, in order to start your card farm for a very easy time, you want to start off by farming off Snelby, Sir Stash, and Giga Frogs. Those will help you greatly. And also, if you're building drop rate, because if you guys didn't know, card drop rate and drop rate also helps with card farming. So that's definitely something that you want to get because uh, these these all shouldn't be empty at all. So you should definitely start adding on to these. Okay, let's take a look at your skills here. Skills are looking okay. I would say, you know, roughly, you want to get your skills a little bit higher because this is extra talent points for you. More skills equals more talent points. So skills, I would say, do for like a minimum of 40 each level for your extra tools. Start, you know, start working to gold, start working at platinum, and then you can start putting world five stones on them to start getting some extra bonuses. And also, if you need more accuracy, just use the world five stones. Say if you need it for a warrior again, you'll use your upgrade stones on a wizard and then equip them on the warrior for more accuracy. This will help greatly for your stat stick. Take a look at your equipment here. So it looks like you're in Cheezor, Luster, Cheezor, and Void, Void, Efont. So, I mean, you're looking pretty good. Once you get them all into Cheezor, you're obviously going to end up going into uh, your Troll and then Troll into Magma, Magma into Divine. But, I mean, you got some time for that. Post Office. Overall, probably not looking too bad. Ooh. Post office grind is going to be something that you definitely want to do. Post office grind, you want to get that done as soon as possible. Uh, especially for, if you have ever seen my post office guide, you want to make sure that you prioritize skilling boxes. Like, for instance, archer, you'd either want to be going to smithing and catching. I know before I said go into smithing, but I actually prefer people to go into catching instead now. Uh, you do have alchemy for this, so that's good for your cranium cooking. And you also starting to do for your sealed fish. And you got the chef's essentials, which is good. So you're doing that for the most part. But you definitely want to hard focus more on getting those done. So you can start getting your 3D prints. So you can start performing for atoms. Because you are getting to that point. Because you are in World 5. And I mean, anvil details. Pretty, probably going to be pretty straightforward. Points from mats. You still have a lot more points that you could possibly be getting. So definitely want to work towards that, of course. But that's not a big deal. Now, let's take a look at the account here. Of course, let's take a look at first things first. We want to take a look at dungeons. Dungeons is always good, especially for upgrades. Here's a huge thing right off the get-go. You got I, I feel like a lot of people actually sleep on this. Dungeon farming is probably one of the most important things to get done right away. There's so many free things from this. If you guys don't know, especially for this, this is each level is plus one talent point for each tab. So that's tab one, tab two, tab three, tab four, and star talent points. So one tab is actually five talents. 
So you want to put this points in as much as possible, get this to 50 so you can get up to 250 in total. And also, it'll carry over for the next elite classes that are happening in World 6. So you want to definitely max out your Flurbo shop. Max out Flurbo grind. This is, this is also huge for defense and uh, accuracy as well. And let's take a look at going on next. We, that's basically only the real thing we need to take a look at is the uh, dungeons. World 1 Anvil. Not too bad. You're doing the basic production. That's fine. Stamps. Okay. So, ooh, okay. So you're missing out on a bunch of stamps. Definitely want to start out the stamp farm. Stamp farming is going to be huge for you, uh, especially stuff like Steve's Sword. This is really, really good, which comes from your seven-figure follow request. Uh, also, getting your feather stamp. Unlocking all these stamps is going to increase your wizard damage or your elemental sorcerer damage, which is going to be great for you, especially getting stuff like ladle stamp, but I heard you that you were stuck at fire spirits. Multi-tool stamps, you want to get your world five quest done. This is definitely going to be great. And I mean, how much is this costing you? This is going to be 70, 48, 105. So this is 3.5 million. It's going to be 3.4, 1 1.27, 1.9. So, I mean, you could definitely spend some time in farming up your stamps. You're currently at uh, 27%, so that means you're at 2,700. So let's, let's, let's focus on getting 4,000 uh, average level. I think that'd be great for you. So, so aim for a 4,000 4, average to get that up to 40%. You definitely want to do that. So you can get, you know, just go through, find simple unlocks like this one, for instance. This is super easy to get. Just a couple of iron. This is just, well, I mean, don't worry about that. But there's also, you're missing out, like, free accuracy stuff, and not to mention a ton of damage. Steve's Sword, huge one for damage. You want to get that right away. The Mantia Sword is also going to be very great for damage percent. So basically, you're, if you do all this at the moment, you're going to be scaling up crazy, and you're going to have no problem being stuck at Fire Spirits, because your main problem is damage, defense, and accuracy. You start getting those things, you're going to be golden. So, of course, now we take a look at Alchemy, our best friend, as we all know. 145, 136. Okay, so overall, not too bad. What's your FMJ and Shackercy? FMJ is 45%. So it's at 91. This one is at 76. You're actually pretty high on your FMJ and Shackercy. You don't want to get prints for that. I mean, we'll take a look if you do have prints, but overall, it's pretty good. And you want to... Un okay, so a big one. Unlocking all bubbles. Unlock every bubble. You can do this with... Uh, Bubble Breakthrough on Shaman Tunnel, you want to get that done ASAP. Because you're missing out on massive amounts of damage from prior Power of Try 1, Power of Try 2, and Power of Try 3. These are going to be your biggest things next to Crystal Stake for your first big upgrades worth in damage. Even getting one point is super helpful. Just unlocking it will give you a little bit of damage. And then, obviously, it's going to be a little bit faster once you get a couple more points in Mr. Massacre. And also, Kill Per Kill. So definitely want to start working on that ASAP. Take a look at vials here. So everything's looking good. You could do more for tail time for more weapon power. You could also do crack and aid uh, for also, this is also weapon power. So that's going to be great for you as well. So I would say, yeah, so just start stamp farming. Unlocking every bubble is going to be huge. And also at the same time, start doing the vial farm. So obviously you know this, just make sure to log in at least once a day just to get these done. Uh, a vial farm. Mainly Kraken, if you can. Kraken ASAP, give you that extra little bit of damage. And then also Tail Time is also going to be good. Because you're the reason why you're stuck behind Fire Spirits is because of the damage. You're just slacking a ton of damage. But in order to get damage, there's a lot of prerequisites that I can already see right off the get-go that will definitely help this out a lot. Arcade Shot, I mean, there's only so much you can do. This is pretty, I mean, we all know it. It's kind of pay to win. It is what it is. Um, but, I mean, over time, like, there's easy weapon power you can get from here. But it's not rotation, unfortunately, so it is what it is. Have you been working on sigils? You haven't really been working on sigils at all, so that's good. You want to stay away from sigils. You're working on quick cauldrons. Getting, the, yes, getting these boosted. Okay, so you definitely want to get your, get your liquid cauldrons. Or your, sorry, your color cauldrons. To all 170 max on all four so that that means things such as speed luck cost extra you want all of these maxed get it done i'm you see that you're working on it right now just keep on going 
using Cranium Cook will definitely help with that, even if you can only use it once a day. Just go ahead and use it once a day. Every little bit counts. And you got all your pay to win tabs looking pretty good. Excellent. We love to see that. Great. Alchemy, and, and I mean, we all know this chat. You know it. I know it. Alchemy is the most important thing in this game by far. And just, just before we continue, um, what, is, what is your current Shaman's build? So let's take a look. Shaman here. Uh, let's see here. Skills. No, not skills. Sorry. Talents. So, of course, we're going to take a look. Symbols of Beyond. Don't have that. Raise dead. Okay. Kind of struggling when it looks to the Shaman. 171 and Cranium. So you're kind of, you're, you're at that point where you're just like kind of missing key ingredients uh, for your Shaman. Things like uh, Cranium Cooking, Bubble Breakthrough, Tentacle Eye. Uh, even stuff like chemical warfare. It seems you put all your points and raise dead. And also symbols beyond is also super important. And no points in fart cloud. So uh, you're definitely going to be... Uh, give Bubo lots of love. You're at that point now in the game where you should be focusing majority on your Bubo. Uh, you want to build them up. 200 talent levels. Uh, you want to reach god mode. The sooner you get to god mode with Bubo, the better your life is going to be. Because we all know Bubo's OP. And I mean, I mean, I wouldn't really run crit chance. But I don't know why you're running Protector's Pride. I mean, you're 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 cooking. You're at void. I mean, you're on your way there. It's not like it's not like it's a bad scenario, but you know, there's definitely stuff that you want to get to. And how's your printer looking? Okay, so you got flies printing off for your FMJ. I'm taking a guess, which is good. You got your bloches for your shackercy, also oh, good. Uh, you are printing Kraken, so I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't take your vile attempts to unlock Kraken aid for the weapon power. Um, what I would suggest too is I would say uh, get a get a print checklist, get a print checklist of all the things you need for bubbles that you're going to push, uh, for the vials that you want to get, uh, an upgrade, uh, also for the stamps that you want to hard farm. You want to get a print checklist and get those done on each character. So then what you can start doing is start hard, hard pushing and just start getting those compound interest of bonuses because this game is all about compound interest. So if you do the work now, it'll be easier in the early. Once you, once you get into later game, it becomes much, much easier, especially alchemy. So your refinery, 15, 13, 9, 7, 5, 4. You have overranked these so bad. You're not, you, you can't maintain these, unfortunately. So what I would suggest is go into the Discord, check out the idle index, look in the World 3 tab, and take a look of how to create perpetual motion uh, with, within your refinery. Because as it says right now, you are eating so much of your salts right now. You, you, like, you can't even keep up on red salts, unfortunately, because, it, because you're just pushing. Like, you should not be at rank 4 Nalo salts right now. I mean, it, it, you, you would think that would be a good idea, but in, in actual retrospect, if you want to upgrade anything, you won't be able to because you'd have to leave stuff off. And let's be honest here, producing little compared to not producing anything is much better. So definitely going to... I mean, it is more DK damage, of course. It's a good pusher, but in the end, how much DK are you actually going to want to have in order to sacrifice something like that? It's just not worth it. I mean, you obviously haven't touched Atom Collider yet, so we're kind of just getting you started, getting you ready for Atom Collider with this stuff. Taking a guess. Okay, you do have Equinox. So Equinox Dreams, Equinox Resources, Shades of K. Okay, Liquid Investment. Very, very, very OP. So once you can get, uh, get Liquid Investment as soon as, par as, soon as possible. Th this Liquid Investment is like the most disgusting upgrade that we have gotten since, since like World 5. Like, you think all that other stuff has been super, super good? Nothing comes close to Liquid Investment because it just, it, oh, it supercharges your alchemy. Because you go from, like, 30, hour, 30 an hour liquid until you spend enough time and then you have, like, 155 an hour, which is just berserk. So definitely want to get Liquid Investment as soon as possible. Um... Buildings are looking fine. You got the 3D printers. Great. Talent book library. Death note. Salt licks looking good. Chest base. Okay. Uh, definitely finish off automation arm, which is what you're doing. Great. Uh, you are, I would say, I would say if anything, hard focus poisonic elders. 
hard for you okay is poisonix because this is this is what's going to help push big time this is what's going to help push for your for your beautiful beautiful amounts of uh tower defense this is where you're going to get all your souls is where you're honestly going to be locked there's really two types in this play or three types of uh gameplay where you get super locked you get liquid locked within about world three for dense water and distilled water you get salt locked for um for stuff such as like construction and also for specific upgrades you get hard salt locked especially for troll gear and you also get soul locked soul locked is one of the biggest pains in the ass in this game hands down it is so brutal how badly you could just get so far behind just because you don't maintain your souls so definitely hard focus poisonic elder it will replace boulder roller within if you can get Poisonic Elder to like level 20, you're basically good to get pretty much wave 100s. Like it's it's actually that good. So Death Note, you know, if you you're going to definitely want to start working on Death Note, I would say Death Note minimum blur pulse. Thank you, Sam. Uh Death Note minimum blur pulse. Get that going. Obviously, you don't have to worry about World 5 so much because that's where you kind of locked fire spirits but blunder hills yummy on frostbite should be easy world four don't worry about world five not a big deal head into worship let's see your totems here what is this what is that what is that doing there what it what it why why is why 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 is that there why do you have a slush skull nobody should again i can't stress this enough look at me Viewers, YouTube viewers, look at me. Stop with the slush skull. The slush skull is trash. Look at chat. They're all coping. Do not have slush skull ever. Okay, it is not worth it. Keep them because they're meant for your best in slot. Okay, they're for your best in slot, your dreadlow skulls for world five. But for the love of God, do not, I repeat, do not carry this. It is not good. Trust me is not good if the if only anything you could do it maybe for capacity maybe but that's it other than that this is just you're you're it takes you takes you forever okay look at the difference right here 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 let's let's do it let's do a clear difference okay time to full nine days 15 hours okay time to full 61 days two months for full charge two months to get that to full charge why for what reason no wonder he's hard stuck level 36 worship is because he's got the slush skull on. Stop being hard stuck. Get rid of the slush skull. Use something useful. You did it right on all these characters. Why is it just this character? Feels like you hate it. Why do you why do you hate it, dude? Let's take a look at prayers here. Okay. You know what? I'm even gonna write that down. No slush skulls. That goes for everybody. Garbage. It's garbage. All right. Big one off the get-go. I mean, the two ones that are going to be super huge for you. Unlock Balance of Pain. And Hard Level Skill Dimwit. Those are going to be huge for you. Those, those two right there are probably some of the best prayers in the game. You don't really have to worry about Midas Mind. You don't have to roll about, I mean, Royal Sampler. If you haven't already, actually, let's try. Let's let's check here. If you, are you at 90%? 55%? 55%? Use Royal Sampler. And get 90% print. Now, if you guys don't know, I'll make this a little bit easier on you, okay? A little, little bit with a little bit of words to wise. When it says on prayers, especially for Royal Sampler, that says it reduces 48% of all XP gain. That is not a multiplier. That is a additive. So you're actually only losing 0.48 of, of, of literally any XP multiplier. So most people, what they think that is a 50% multiplier, that means if they have 10 times XP, they're going down to five times XP. That's not true. If you have a 50% reduction and it's an additive and you have 10 times XP, it's actually only going to 9.5. So it's worth it to run this. Always have Royal Sampler, always hit 90%. It's just, it's silly not to. 
Now, since we're bringing that back as well, we might as well head over here. And you want to also level up your Wyoming Blood, your Multi Lago, uh, your Sploosh Sploosh, and your Bugs. You need to build up more Bugs. This is definitely something that you want. So definitely work on that. Okay, so we got and some Owlies, got some Penguins. Okay, I mean, that's, that's fine. What I would probably suggest, personally, personally, what I would suggest is uh, focus on one critter instead of focusing on multiple critters. And I would also, how many critters do you have in total? Yeah, you're kind of low. I would probably level everyone up to level 40 trapping. I would throw everyone on nature traps because if you, if, if I believe you should have trapper drone, I believe, right? Trapper drone, trapper drone, you do. You have a level six trapper drone. So here's what you could do. You guys want a really good tip, okay? Take your maestro or your V-man, depending on what you have. Set everything up for XP for trapping, okay? And then erase all your traps. And then you want to run two things. Fair proficiency, it's an optional thing, but you don't need to have it. But then pop transfusion and then place every character with a nature trap. Now what this would do is this will, since you're placing everything on the maestro, it is snapshotting all of the skill XP that you get from transfusion. But the thing is, is trapping requires no efficiency. So since it doesn't require efficiency in order to get higher XP, that means you could juice out the XP by nerfing your efficiency to the ground. The only time efficiency matters with trapping is to get bonus critters. So definitely want to do that and push your trapping as hard as you can. So do that as you will. Take a look here. Max that out instantly. Get the samples. Here, so we'll also do this. Uh, nature trap. Nature trap your uh, trapping skill to about 40 to 50. Okay, especially because once you start getting in V-Man, the higher trapping, the better it is going to be for you overall because of the, uh, well, what, uh, it's uh, it's the, uh, what, what is that? What is that one talent called for V-Man? Uh, it's, it's off the tip of my tongue. Um, it's not voodoo statification. Uh, species epoch. Species epoch. You want to build that up for species. And then, okay, definitely uh, salt lick. First upgrade. Max that out. Okay, then we go down here. Looking good. I mean, you could get the liquid. Not a big deal. This is actually a really strong one. You have seven... Definitely want to get that leveled up, but I mean, you don't have a lot to be honest. So I think I think let's just worry about the first one for now. Construction. Let's take a look here. Let's see what do you got? Let's uh, construction XP, construction XP, construction XP. Okay. And speed of flags. Okay. What I would suggest for this as well. For when it comes to construction, for COGS, focus XP percent only. Only focus XP percent. XP percent is best compared to everything else. When it comes into construction, it is literally best until you're like 1,200. But I mean, ain't nobody going to get there anytime soon. Or if you're trying to hard farm something, you can swip to, swap to build rate, but only temporarily, because you're basically just not worth it, and regardless. So definitely, definitely start switching that up. And also, if you guys didn't know, what you could do is you could take your Divine Knight, your highest Divine Knight, and since, he has, since your Divine Knight has really high build rate construction, you can throw him on the first cog, on your gray cogs, and you can usually get him really quick. So since you get them within a couple of seconds, you could just start farming gray cogs and gray cogs will give you a high XP percent because XP percent is not based off the rarity of the cog. It's based off of the DK's max level. So, you, so the higher level your DK is, the uh, in total, the more XP percent you can get. So whatever is super quick for you. So like if you're one second on gray cog, but then you're one second on yellow cog, you don't want to do one second on yellow cog. If you're on red cog, same thing. The only thing where purple cogs start becoming better than anything else is literally only for the booster cogs because the purple cogs are the only cogs that can actually get up to 65% build rate or 65% XP. So definitely want to do that 100%. Okay, well, that, well that, that, why is that broken? Hello? Hello? 
take a look at your meals here. Boost speed. Let's take a look at a uh, time to eleven. Okay, then we just we got we just gotta see the order here. So we're starting off with okay, salad, French fries. You skip French fries completely. You should be getting French fries. You should unlock French fries to get to up to level eleven. Uh, same with apple. Same with pancakes. Same. With, oh, bro, you're missing out crazy cooking speed with your corn dog, and like insane. And then also you got a couple on your cabbage. Okay, so that. So uh, you're definitely probably just working on your spices. So what I would suggest is main focus is going to go eggs, corn dog. Cabbage. Diamond Chef. These are your first things that you want to start prioritizing when you want to start going for speed. And then you also get more speed uh, once you start getting uh, definitely the, the stamps as well. Get that going. I'm, that's all I'm going to give you for now, just because it's I'm just going to make it way too conf confusing. So once you get egg, I mean, you already have egg at level 12, and then you can start working on getting corn dog, getting that upgraded. And then you got the cabbage as well. Get that upgrade. That's all going to start compounding on building up on your cooking speed. And then obviously getting these ones to level 11 will help those that up anymore. But you said that you can unlock those. So we need to look at your breeding. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. How's your territory looking? Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're going to quickly go like this. Sorry YouTube viewers, we have to get this done quickly just to show them what I'm talking about here. We're going to pull out our idle index, by the way. If you haven't joined the Discord where we have all the beautiful idle index here, that will show you basically anything you need to know within our Discord that will help you out any any time whatsoever. So since we're taking a look at uh since we're taking a look at breeding, I mean, you definitely want to take a look at World 4 and go into the pet level and breeding uh, revamp territory sheet. Obviously, I didn't make this. So, I mean, shout outs to Sean G97. Super super nice for him to do that for us. So, these are the things that you should be hard focusing, okay? These are the things that you want to focus. This will help you with pushing whatsoever. This will help you with your spice games. This will help you with your pet arenas. This will help you with your pet lineups. And all of this is based off stuff that is achievable for as you're progressing. So you should be just, you should, if you're trying to get your cooking going better, and you're trying to get your breeding going better, you should be doing nothing but just listening to this. This should be like basically your Bible, okay? You wake up in the morning. This is the first thing you look at. Eat, breathe, and sleep. The, the sleep the, uh, eat, breathe, and sleep on this. And then by that time, while you keep on working on it, you'll get to that point and you'll be very, very good. Because what I see on yours currently is there's a few things that you're kind of struggling on just because of it doesn't really look like where you need to go. Because it is a little bit, it's a little bit harder to explain as you're going forward because you're kind of at that point where you kind of have an idea but at the same time you're just not really doing it right like because i see you you know you're doing the miasmas you're doing stuff like that which is good but you're also kind of stopping yourself from pushing now if you really need to get better eggs if you really need to get eggs what you could do is farm world four coliseum I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you have no problem. If you're, if you're pushing through world five, you can push through world four. You could do world four Coliseum. So basically you just want to build full drop rate, go in there, kill mutated mush, get your eggs, start hard farming your eggs if you can. And then that will help you push a little bit more and just refer back to that sheet that I just showed you. And if you guys want to see that sheet, make sure you join the discord. Uh, usually link is in the description below. But I can't give you too, too much help on this just because breeding is, it's kind of based off more or less person to person basis. Just because if, you know, you might have, you might have a certain one that you're going to need, but it won't actually benefit you until the next one, but you have a refiller. 
You have a refiller. You have a mercenary. You have a curse. You have a forger. You should, and a fleeter. You should be able to get at least somewhere where you need to be. Obviously, you're going to want to get that other refiller as soon as possible and get burger. Refiller, burger, those things are super OP for pushing. And then, you know, eventually get the monolithic that will be coming in World 2 Snubbies. But it, the best advice, of course, is to keep unlocking new pets. New pets, more pets that you get, higher level in breeding that you get means even better. Also, always, always, always open your breeding with your beast master. Okay? Because this is specifically for pet power. It may say, you know, you could do it with every character or whatever. I don't care. Only do it with your Beastmaster. I don't care what people say. I don't care what the talent says. Let's just make sure that that happens. Only focus on opening on the Beastmaster. Hands down. It's just, it's just to save yourself. Okay, so Lab's not looking too bad. Speaking of which, what, 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 is, what, is, what is your... Before we, get, before we continue, are, are, do, you, do you have to do the grind? Is, is, is it, of course, are you doing the grind? Level 19, level 32, 23. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, dude. You can't trust Lava's coding. Okay. 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 So. Big one. Divinity Lab Grind. Divinity and Lab Grind. You have Dute. Okay? So I don't want to hear... That you can't do the divinity or lab grind, okay? You want to take a, literally everybody on goat god, put everybody on goat god, and throw them in the lab, okay? They need to live in the lab till level 75 on lab and level 40 divinity. Those are the two things that those are prerequisites that you need to hit before world six. You get that grind done, and you'll love it, and and everything will be easier because that is like one of the hardest time gates ever. And then if we go into, so obviously that's another thing to do. We don't need to worry about statues right now. You're not quite there yet. And let's just take a quick look at World 5. Okay, main bonus double. I mean, you're, I mean, you're still doing pretty good here. I mean, it's not bad. Like, you're getting the stuff. I mean, you're going to need to get this stuff eventually. But I mean, overall, you're, you're, you're doing all right. Boats of Captains. Wait, what, are your, what are your loot value, loot value, speed. Looking all good here. Not too bad. Not terrible. It's boat speed, loot value, loot value. Okay, so what you want to focus on for your for your sailing? Sailing? Focus all on sailing speed. Don't don't bother focus on loot value right now. It's not going to be beneficial to you in this point in time. Focus on sailing speed and then work your way to loot value later cuz sailing speed it's going to be forever to push right away. And and artifact find chance is actually dog water. You don't want artifact find chance. It's not good. Same with Divinity. I mean, like, you have this stuff unlocked. There should be... Like, look. Like, like, it's just... <laughs> you have Dute, so you should be able to do this. But! And then gaming, of course. You got the sprinkler, got all that stuff. So we're going to be good for that. So this is what I want you to work on. <sighs> okay, fish. Here we go. So. Things to work on. Obols. Main stat or drop rate? I prefer to go substat so you have enough accuracy until you can do your Flurbo shop. Get that done. You want to start working on your card farm. You want to start getting that going for, like, for instance, like Chaotic Troll. Get that to three star or even four star for the skill efficiency. You want to start getting card farm uh, card farm rate. Uh, for instance, Gigafrog, Snellbees, Sir Stashes. Want to get that big time. Skills minimum of 40, except for worship. You want that 40 to 50 because you want to start, or trapping, sorry, 40 to 50. Uh, post office grind. You want to work on your skilling boxes. Get your skilling boxes done as soon as possible. Max out Flurbo. Shop. Start doing your party dungeons. I Everybody hates doing it for some reason. I actually really like party dungeons. I thought it was great. But you should you should definitely get that done. Uh, stamp farming. Get a 4,000 average level. And focus on getting Steve Sword, which is 7 million follower, uh, follower quest line. Get that done. Unlock every bubble. Use on bubble breakthrough. Use on your shaman. Definitely something you want to do. Vile farm specifically, Krakenade and Tail Time. Those are weapon power. This is going to help you help you push. Color cauldrons all to 170 max. This is going to be great for you. This means this means that you can start focusing on liquid cauldrons instead. And also, this helps you unlock bubbles. 
Give Bubo lots of love. You're about, you're getting to that point where you can start doing heavy cranium cooking. You're getting to that point of Eldritch Fury where you can start rolling that. And not to mention, since you have Rift Slug, you're that much closer to getting uh, Talent 200. Once you get Talent 200, book that stuff and you're going to be juiced out and you're going to be able to farm insane amounts of alchemy. And you're going to thank me so much for it when that time comes. Not to mention, oh, so money farm. Get a print checklist. There's a lot of things that you need to farm, such as stamps, bubbles, files. You want to make sure that you get a checklist of all these things you want to work on. I would start off small. Work on just a couple of bubbles on each person that you want to work on. Get a notepad down. Write that down. Get that going. And on top of that, you want to make sure to get 90% print, which is from Royal Sampler, and also get your multi-resource, which is from your bubbles, your stamps, and your star signs. Uh, get liquid investment from the Equinox. That's going to be huge. Uh, definitely help push on for your vials and your... Or sorry, not your vials. For your liquid. Because then you could basically just put Bubo on auto mode and then you can just even juice it up even higher without losing any gains. Liquid Investment is one of the most OP up upgrades you can get in the game when it comes to Bubonic Conjure. Hard Focus, Poisonic Elder. Poisonic Elder is specifically meant to get you out of being soul locked. If you're soul locked, you're not progressing. If you're not progressing, L ratio. Death Note, Minimum Blurples. This just helps with your multi kill. This will also help with your 3D prints. No Slush Skull. I don't want to see any more slush skulls in your account. If I ever see your account again, Dad, and I see that you have a slush skull, I am going to ban you from chat. I'm not even fucking kidding. I am being 100% dead honest. I will actually ban you from chat if I see your account again and you're running a slush skull. Unlock Balance of Pain. Balance of Pain is literally multi-kill per tier. It's OP. You definitely want this. Hard level skill dimwit. This will give you huge prints. You want this absolutely. Use Royal Sampler. Get 90% print, as I said before. Nature traps to trapping skill to 40 to 50. This is just going to help with species epoch. Help you get more stats. Help you with higher traps. Salt Lake first upgrade. This is more sample size. You want that. Focus XP only on cogs. XP over anything else. This is huge. Main focus for cooking is eggs, corn dogs, cabbage, and diamond chef. Those are the things you want to roll absolutely all the time. Farm World for Kahlo. This will help you with the eggs. This will help with your breeding upgrades. This will help you get going with your splicers. Divinity and lab grind, which is level 40 divinity, level 75 lab. Get those two done. You're going to be cooking. You have do. You have no reason, no excuse to not get that done. And sailing focus. Focus on sailing speed. Sailing speed will help you get artifacts faster because it will get you closer to that two hour mark. These are the things I want you to work on. Good luck, fish. I hope you have fun and happy grinding.